So I get home from a long cross-country practice and finally get to kick back, relax, and watch some Food Network. Then I feel a fat black thing on my lap. Of course, it's my cat Jasper. Oh, but he's so cute. Then I look to see that his food dish is empty. My cat is the master manipulator. I'll bet like me, you could go on for days about your cat's different behaviors. From those annoying cackles at the sunrise, to when they just roll up and bite you for no reason. Till you feel a cold coming on and they will not leave your side. Today, we are briefly going to paw into three of the cat's many different behaviors. First, we will tear open the kibble bag and discuss some annoying cat behaviors. Next, we will scoop into some of their madness and pour into what makes them so mad. And finally, we will devour on that lovingness. Meow! <laughs> what? Meow! What? Does that get annoying to you? <laughs> Starting off on our list of annoying cat behaviors is that ever well known? Meow! So, why do cats meow? In her book, Feline Behavior, copyright 2008, Bonnie Beaver tells us that the cat's meow is a way of communicating with people. Cats do not actually meow at each other, just people. He may be greeting you. Yes, that seems nice, but a more common reason behind the meow is the cry for more food. So you think to yourself, I have already fed you today. Well, Bonnie Beaver also states that cats are very scheduled creatures. You may have fed him at that time the day before, and he remembers. Now, the most annoying cat behavior of them all is hairballs. Hairballs are disgusting, enough said. <laughs> Jennifer Vegas states in her article Cats Adore, published February 14, 2011, that the hairball is created when tiny hook-like structures on the cat's tongue pick up loose dead hair when they swallow. That hair cannot be digested, thus creating the hairball we all came to love. My cat always seems to hack on the rug rather than the tile floor. The cat can actually smell dirt in the rug, so he thinks he's helping you by vomiting there. <laughs> Masters of manipulation, also known as the cat. Once in our homes, cats apparently begin to train us to give them exactly what they want. In his book, Understanding Cat Behavior, copyright 2010, Roger Tabor tells us that cats like being scheduled. You have to adapt them to change. If he is pestering you for food, every hour, on the hour, just because he can, do not feed him every time. Play with him at one of those times, or give him one small treat. The cat is healthier that way, and follows his routine. Routine forms the basis of your cat's sense of security and comfort. So you are walking into the kitchen for a snack, and from out of nowhere, your cat comes and bites your leg. Talk about anger issues. Cat Johnson states in her article, Making Animals Happy, published June 3rd, 2012, that there are two different types of feline aggression. First is redirected aggression. Feline redirected aggression is when the cat behaves aggressively at the closest animal or human that is not the source of its anger. In other words, the cat may not have liked the taste of the mouse he caught. You walk by, he bites you. Some cases of cat redirected aggression are severe, but most are the common bite on the leg or scratch on the arm. Then we have petting induced aggression. Your cat is taking a nap. You insist on petting him. You can blame the cat biting you on his wild ancestors. Cats were genetically trained to use their claws and teeth against predators. While this reaction might seem to come out of the blue, most cats give a warning in advance when they start to feel crabby. If you look closely, you will see your cat tense up. His ears will flatten against his head and his tail will twitch. If you continue to pet him, he will likely hiss or growl. Then, 
scratch or bite. Some solutions? Pam Johnson states in her book Think Like a Cat, copyright 2012, that the best solution is to give your angry cat space. Let him sniff your hand before petting. Do not crab your cat. An obvious trick is to use food. Cats love food, but studies suggest that overweight cats are actually angrier. It's harder for them to move. Remember to never use violence on your cat. They usually won't listen anyhow. Did you see that? If you didn't catch it, I blinked three times. That is how you say I love you to a cat, in a way in which they understand. But how do cats show love? They sure don't come up and give you a smack on the lips, but they have their ways. I'll bet the first thing coming to mind is that purr. Amy Smoji states in her article, How Cats Love, published December 3rd, 2011, that the purr is an expression of concern and love for you. Experts say, it is the cat's way of smiling. And when you are petting a cat and he bunts against your hand, he is still showing that love. Bunting also means affection. Does your cat ever roll to show you his tummy? If so, feel lucky. Amy Smoji also states when a cat rolls to show you his tummy, he is being vulnerable. They reserve this position for the people they truly love. In the animal kingdom, marking your territory is smiled upon. So if a cat sprays you, he likes you. It's a way the cat actually calms himself down by the scent of his spray. So the next time you get sprayed on, feel that love. When I am sick, my cat is always with me. When my grandfather died and my grandma came to stay with us, my cat Sylvester would not get off her lap. In Jacob Silverman's article, Can Cats Predict Death?, published August 2, 2007, he states that the sick and dying produce a smell. Humans can't detect, but our cats can. They want to make you feel at ease. Cats are smarter and more loving than we may think. Cats are perhaps one of the most diverse and peculiar creatures in the animal kingdom. I can't imagine the list of every single different cat behavior. We tore open the kibble bag and discussed some annoying cat behaviors. We then scooped and poured into some of their madness and finally devoured on that lovingness. So at the end of the day, I always give my cat what he wants. A new bowl of food, a back scratch, his 500th toy. My cat annoys me, but at the end of each day, I can always count on him being there. Thank you.